Hello, my lovely Atlantis Scalar peeps. I want to read to you a testimonial that this uh, wonderful woman sent me. Uh, I have a lot of cool, cute emojis. Um, I just did, we just did her microbiome optimization and we've worked on her grandson too, but here it is. Dear Elisa, just to let you know, my microbiome tune-up is really showing results, exclamation, exclamation point. My skin is not so dry and flaky anymore. My legs and arms are soft again all because we do the, the skin microbiome and the brain and the GI and the genital urinary tract and the respiratory tract, which includes sinuses, everything. Uh, as I also, as I said before, my cardiologist said that for now, I don't need a pacemaker. Last year, before the microbiome optimization in September, he strongly recommended that I have one put in. And somehow, I just knew I wouldn't need to. He told me last month that my heart condition is better. Thank you and Eric for, and the Divine Team. Love you all so much, and I am very, very grateful. So yeah, the microbiome is super important for cardiovascular health too, right? Uh, I just spoke to my grandson who was depressed and had a lot of issues with his parents. He had the microbiome optimization in uh, February, I think it was. He told me that he was doing better already, but after Easter, he had problems again. However, now again, he is doing much, much better than before and he feels good about himself. I did the self-love on uh, boosted self-love for him. His relationship with his parents is good and clear now. He has the renewed energy to look for, uh, for a new apartment. Yes. And his job has steadily gone fly, uh, uh, gone fly high with better and better pay. He has a lot of success. He has been, this is really cool, a stand-up comedian for some years now in the theater and, tele and television and is literally filling up the venues within hours of putting out the tickets. Wow, I want to watch him. Now he also writes for other comedians on TV. So, dear Lisa, you and Eric have literally been a godsend. Your healings work wonders. I'm so happy and grateful. I am a true believer, and I wish more people would tune in. I love, 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 love you. Uh, so, yeah, just um, remember that I think one of the most powerful services that we have is the bundle of the ERPE, the Energy Repair Protection and Enhancement, with the microbiome optimization because it just takes care of almost everything. Not everything, but almost everything. Again, I still think everybody should uh, check into the yes or no question page and ask one of the meetings for super cheap. They don't charge very much. Uh, whether you have any subconscious blocks that could prevent uh, success. And there's only like two to 4% that have problems like that. Everybody else, I mean, it, it's all the services have been fantastically, um, wildly successful. So I guess that's it. Um, I could read a little bit to you guys if it's your bedtime. With Eric, uh, well, with all the kids, I used to tickle tummy, rub back, and sing some songs to them in my horrible voice. But I'm just going to read to you. I also read stories to them, too. All right, he's at his funeral, right? The weird thing is that if there were 20 people talking about me, those 20 conversations came right to me all at once. Even, sounds like our dinner table in the day. Even if they were talking about me to somebody else. Not only did I hear everyone's inner thoughts, but I also felt their emotions. Oh, boy. It wasn't um, confusing, just overwhelming. If I were able to slow down and think about it logically, I would have thought that I should have been totally confused because who could handle so many conversations at once or feel that many things at once? I'm not talking about what feelings they were projecting to people around them. I'm talking about what they really felt inside. If I were to freak out about the whole uh, being dead thing, that would have come, uh, that would have been the one time I'd have done it. I didn't freak out. I didn't though. I just let it wash over me and through me. It was uh, intense, but it also felt right. 
The best part about my funeral woo, was that I felt so much love around me. There was so much laughter. Oh, not me. It wasn't that I, I would have expected a funeral to be like. Mm. Sure, I didn't see anybody laughing, but I'm sure they were. Sure, I felt sadness, but I felt happiness too. People shared their stories of what they remembered about me, what I had done uh, for them, and how much they appreciated it. I didn't get to hear those things when I was alive. That's a stark reminder to you guys. Tell people how valuable, what value they have in your life before something like this happens, you know? I didn't get to hear those things when I was alive. It made me wonder why people don't share what they, um, uh, that shit more often in life, you know? No one should wait for death to share how they really feel. And that is the lesson for today, children. No, I'm kidding, not children. I feel like you're all my children, though, in a way. All right, I love you all. Please uh, subscribe to this channel and the Channeling Eric um, uh, YouTube channel as well. And Instagram, and I also started doing TikTok. So if you want to check that out and see how lame they are, um, you can do that. All right. I love you all. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please share this important message with others. Bye.